Hey, this is Joe Price. I just wanted to create this shortened video to provide some instructions for the 5 a day project. Uh, this is an email that we send out each weekday morning, and it has five record hints that you can work on. Now, these are not um, records for people you're related to, though you might turn out to be related to them, but this is really a form of family history service for others so that they can find their family, uh, very similar to how we do indexing, where we index uh, as a way for everyone to be able to find their family. So let's take a look. Yeah, I'll share my screen. Okay, so uh, you'll get an email that looks like this. And obviously, you can open it on your phone or a computer or a tablet. Uh, one thing I love about it, there's always a little quote you can read every day. Uh, and then the hints will just be right here as little buttons. So let's just click on one of these. So if you click this, notice now it just took you right into SourceLinker. And, and we're kind of assuming that you know a bit about SourceLinker. If, if, you, if you haven't used SourceLinker a lot, we'd encourage you to go and watch some of the videos about SourceLinker. Um, but this is also a great way that you could have someone show you how to use SourceLinker if you've never used it before. But notice here, I can open up the details. And uh, this is a fantastic hint. You can see, look, Stonington, Stonington. So she died in the exact same city where she was living in 1930. Uh, if we open up the details for the parents, you can see, look, the parent was born in Italy. Now the birth year is off by about six years, which would be a little worrisome if we didn't have this really strong city connection here. And then you can see the mom is only off by a year and she was born in Italy. So this looks like a fantastic match. And notice what's gonna happen because of this match. Um, look, we've got James matching up, the parents lining up, but then we have three kids, Sarah, Frank, and John, that are going to get added to the tree. And so at this point, you would just do the normal thing you do in SourceLinker, which is you, you'd hit attach, bring over the new information, and then hit attach. And you do that for the people that are already there. Mm -hmm. And then you do it for the dad as well. Okay, so you're bringing over all this great information. And then notice here, we're going to add Sarah to the tree. And we're going to hit create new person. Okay, this might look a little bit different if you're on the phone, um, but this is what it looks like on a computer. Okay, and then one other thing is if you're on a computer, you can use the Goldie May button, and I'll just use that to finish off this family. It's just kind of a way to kind of uh, save some of those uh, clicks. Okay, so that was it. That, that was the first hint I got today. I noticed that by doing that hint, I attached six sources to the tree, six people from census records. And I also added three new people to the tree. Now, if you're ever curious, you can always go to the person and you can hit uh, view my relationship. And I told you that you're not necessarily related to the person, but I find that sometimes it turns out to be a relative. And then if you want, you're always welcome to do additional research. Look, there's a 1940 census, 1950 census, and a new minute. That's really great, but that's not, that's not required. Uh, really the main task is just right here in this email. So then now that we've finished hint one, we can hit two and it'll just pull up the next hint, okay? A couple of things to kind of notice is uh, sometimes you might have to, uh, you know, move people over. So I think Elizabeth and Lizzie are very likely the same people. We got Mary, George lining up, Josephine lining up. You can always open up details and notice here, we're gonna pick up one new person. That's often what we do when we create these hints is we're looking for missing children. Um, so it's really great. Uh, we call this a tree extending hand. It's just a really great way to add people to the tree by reuniting them with their uh, family. Okay. And, th and the great thing about this is if on your if you're on your phone, you can do this really easy just right there uh, using the source linker tool, the uh, mobile source, source linker tool, or here on the computer, probably even easier on a computer, but you can do it on any uh, platform. Uh, and then the other nice thing is that if you ever think it's not a match, you can just skip it. So let me just uh, show you one and we'll just show you what it would look like to skip. So here we hit hint three. So imagine this was not a correct hint, but this one looks really good. Uh, I would just say, oh, you know, I'm not sure about this. I would just close it and that's okay. The five hints we give you each day, they're unique to you. Uh, but if, if you take the day off, no big deal. If you skip any of the hints, no big deal. We'll take a look at those again in a couple months. We have lots of hints that we can share and we'll just be uh, kind of waiting a little bit so even if you can't do your five a day right away, uh, some people wait until the weekend to do all of them. That's totally fine. Um, really to kind of emphasize what this is all about is it's just a way of allowing you to do a little bit of uh, family history service. Uh, I personally do this just in the morning. A lot of times when I get to work or on the walk from my car to my office. Uh, and I really love the spirit that it brings into my life by doing a little bit of service every day. And it's a very important service. Uh, it's a service that will allow people to become part of the family tree. 
And it's also a service that will allow us to add new information to people. Maybe as you attach a record, maybe you find where someone was born. And maybe by putting in that place where they were born, it might open up other record hints and allow us to find their parents or spouse or other, or other things about them. So thanks for uh, helping with this project. Just to answer a couple questions really quick that we often get. Actually, uh, let me share my screen so you can see these. Uh, one question we get is, am I related to these people? No. Uh, you, we're just giving you five record hints that we think are really important for someone to work on. And by doing them, you're going to help someone else find their family. That so you can use the view my relationship to check it out. Uh, people often ask, oh, what if, I, what if I'm not able to do it that day? That's totally fine. You can just skip it any day. Uh, what do I do if I don't think it's a match? Just disclose it, that, that particular source linker, and just do the other ones. Um, sometimes you'll come in and it'll all be green. That means that the hint's already done. We try to do our best to, to filter out hints that are already done, but sometimes, you know, we miss things. Um, and then we're really sorry. There are some days where maybe the bucket runs out or we do something wrong and you won't get your five a day. And we're really sorry about that. We're trying to, we're trying to do all we can to make sure that you get your five a day, uh, once every weekday. Um, I guess last thing, let me just show you two things that will be helpful. Like if at any point you want to, um, you want to unsubscribe, just right here at the bottom, it says need a break, hit unsubscribe. And the nice thing is if you have any friends that want to join or uh, you want to join yourself, just click here on the little sign button, but it's basically fiveaday.rll.byu.edu. Just put in your name, email address, and then subscribe. And uh, we're trying to make this really as simple as possible. And we really try to do try to make the hints to be a very high precision. So uh, our guess is that like over 95% of these hints will be correct. We really do need your help being careful and looking for those ones that are not correct and just skipping those. Um, but yeah, we're really grateful to have your help and we hope you have a great experience working on the five a day um, project.